Hey good fellas, we're at Style of Zug and today I'm going to pick three fountain pens, random, three fountain pens that we never had a closer look at, but that I think deserve to be discovered and admired. So I would say, let's go. So I'm taking you with me. I hope I don't tremble too much. We should really like see a few pens that I would acquire right now. And I want it to be three pens that we haven't really looked at earlier. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, there's some nice pens here. Let's, I'll also let you have a browse around. Look here. But there's so many more pens here at Otto Hoot at Monte Grappa. Let me put my glow on. All right, so one that immediately comes to my mind that we haven't really had a look at is the beautiful silver plated Varius Silas. We're going to check this out in a bit. So let me put it here. Then let's go to Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc. Do you have something I want to discover today? Hmm, to be honest, not really. Not really. Graf, it's, you know, pretty much the classic. Pen of the years are always magical to look at. <laughs> oh, I have another piece here. I have another piece here which I think deserves to be looked at and it's the Montegrappa Brenta. We never actually had a close-up on this one. Beautiful piece, very well priced, pretty complicated to produce. And, okay, I got it. Well, let me close down here. Okay, I have the third one. I have the third one, it's here. We didn't have a closer look at this one specifically and I think we should do so. Let's go. All right, good fellas, we start with the Silas, which is this beautiful Varius made by Carondage in this mirror finishing silver uh, material that you can see, it looks pretty much like meteorite. It's such an impressive piece to look at. So I can imagine that this specific fountain pen owning it, having it on the table whenever you're you know, doing something and then picking up your pen or going to sign with such a fountain pen really is a feeling for itself. Karen Dash really breaks boundaries when it comes to the virus because they always try to select different kind of materials. So the virus collection with all different materials becomes highly collectible and highly cool to actually collect. Every once in a while they take one edition out from the virus collection and there are also limited editions. So I think it has a great potential to grow in terms of product, but I also think that it's just a beautiful pen. It's not cheap because this kind of finishing here on the different facets of the pen is complicated to do. It's complicated to achieve this kind of depth of mirror finishing. So it runs for 1,400 francs, legit, beautiful, 18 karat gold nib, can be filled using the cartridge converter mechanism. Therefore, an absolute great piece. Comes in fine, medium, broad, so therefore everything that pretty much your heart desires. Then if we go further, you know, when I went to Bassano del Grappa, I spoke about this specific pen with one of the technical directors there. And he said that they, they picked up a way with their CNC five axis machine to actually create this specific shape on the pen. And it's so crazy. It represents the Brenta River. It's also vintage inspired. That's a very interesting thing about this Montegrappa Brenta. And it has uh, a 14 karat gold nib. It also can be filled using converter cartridge. I think this pen is beautiful for the, the shines that it gives because of this specific shape. You know, every time you look at it, also when you go out, it shines in a different way. Uh, you have all these incredible facets that really look like water. It's mesmerizing, beautiful. Uh, might be interesting to see this specific pen also in different other materials. Oh my God. The, the delivery guy is coming. I think he has uh, a carandash. This I will film now, but it's only going to be for members of um, the podcast. 
So guys, don't forget, you can become a member, you can become a game changer. On there, I'm really sharing some insights about the pen industry. I think it's totally worth it for you if you like pens to be part of it. Yes, it has a cost, but listen, it's made in order to keep the circle small and to be really like-minded people and therefore also to share those kind of information only on that specific membership. Grüezi! Muss ich etwas unterschreiben? Ja. Okay, I have to sign. It has arrived. So after this little advertisement about membership, let's keep on going. By the way, something that I had not seen is the beautiful number engraved here. So this is a numbered edition. It's not limited. We don't know how many they produce, but it's a very complicated piece to produce. So every now and then it's out of stock. It's not even really available like in ballpoint. I mean, but right now you can only order this one as a, as a fountain pen, but it's numbered, which shows that, you know, only very few pieces. This is number 827, so think about it. They only did like about a thousand of this until now. Then third pen I wanted to show you, a brand that I really love, you know that by now, it's the Otto Hood Design 07 All Black. It's a piece that we haven't covered that much, but it's really beautiful. Edgy, understatement, again, think about having this piece just there on your table or going in a meeting and holding this piece in your hand, it's totally a Batman kind of feeling. Do you have this in black? Yes, we have it in black. We have matte black PVD finishings on the barrel and the cap. And then there are multiple shining PVD details on the top with the OH logo, on the clip, the ring, the grip section, even the 18 karat gold nib is in black PVD. Super, super nice detail, very, very nice. And the bottom part is also shining. So this is a pen that gives a lot of joy because of the finishing of this German, you know, industrial kind of feeling. We have this very nice guillage, which have an ending. That's an important part. They have an ending, which means the machine really works like this and then goes to the next line and then goes to the next line. It would be much easier to kind of, you know, take a, a, a straight, um, let's say, conus and then just engrave it all and then just cut it out and create the barrels. But here the work is much more complicated because it means that each single barrel is created on its own, which shows the quantity of time and effort they put into programming the machine in this way and into making such a piece. The Brenta Guys, to be honest, I don't know. The Brenta should be around, I think, 860. You can go check it out in the link in the description. And the Otto Hood is 720. As you see, we always stock these pieces at Style of Zug because we love when people come that they are able to, to discover these pieces live and to see the, uh, them actually here. It's all an experience. It's not only buying pens. I always say that. It's not only buying pens. It's also the whole experience behind it. So, good fellas, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about these three pieces down in the comments. I always love to read from you in the comments and I always answer to each single comment. And also don't forget that together we are changing the game. Oh, 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 oh,